Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of solving quadratic equations. This is standard A.8a .8a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 31 of the 2024 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we need to find the solutions, and they give it to us here. There is a really quick way to do this, and then there's a little bit of a longer way. And I'll do the longer way first, uh, because you can't always use this quick shortcut. But when we're thinking of solving, we can complete the square, we can factor it out. Uh, but one thing that always works is the quadratic equation, right? And so we have that here. And if we're looking at our quadratics, right, that quadratic formula, it's going to be then that x equals all of that business, right? That's going to be our uh, one way to solve this. x equals negative b plus or minus, this is the long way, b squared minus 4ac over 2a. The problem is, is you have to get it to look like the standard form first. What we need here is our standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c, because we need to identify the a the b and the c. So we need to take this and we need to make it look like this. Well, let's factor that out. So I've got 5. It's going to be x plus 3. x plus 3 equals 75. So I'm going to use the distributive property to foil this out, right? So that's going to be x squared plus 3. x plus 3. x plus 9 equals 75. So I've got, distribute this one out now, 5x squared, plus that 6x times 5 is 30x. That's going to be 45 equals 75. Now I need to subtract 75 from both sides, and it's going to end up being 5x squared plus 30x minus 30 equals 0. Now, finally, I've got something that looks like this. So I can say my A equals 5, my B equals 30, and then my C equals negative 30. And I can plug that into this thing right up here, right? So I can say my negative B is negative 30, plus or minus B squared, so that's 30 squared, minus 4 times A is 5, times c is negative 30, over 2a, which is 2 times 5. So I end up with negative 30, plus or minus, let's figure out what this is, 900. And I'm going to end up getting a minus, and a minus, so that's going to be plus. That's 20 and 30. 600 over 10. So negative 30, plus or minus, the square root of 1,500 over 10. And we need to think, well, what is the square root of 1,500? Is that something that easily works? Let's see. 1,500. We don't have that, so now we need to, now we're going to need to factor some things out, right? So anyways, we could do all that. We can factor out, but even in now factoring out something, we're going to leave this right here. So let's go. I said there's an easy way to do this. So all of that was really unnecessary, but if you wanted to, you could find ways to factor out that 1,500, and then you would end up, you know, simplifying by that 10. Take a look at this original equation right here. 5x plus 3 squared equals 75. Well, what if I divided both sides by 5? Now I've got x plus 3 squared equals, that's going to be 15. I can now take the square root of both sides. That, get, get, that gets rid of that squared. It's now x plus 3 equals square root of 15, right? And that's going to end up being, right, that plus or minus. And then I just need to take that 3 out. So it's x equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 15. And that is going to be our answer. D.